Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talking about uh, security and privacy of electronic business. Uh, I'm Michelle, and uh, if you have any question, please keep it until the end of my presentation. Thank you. Uh, my presentation can be divided into two parts. The part, first part is the introduction of the security and privacy. The second part is the solution to these problems. Okay, let's move on to my presentation, part one. Okay, let me ask you a question first. Have you ever shopped on internet? Yes, I think uh, most of us have the experience of shopping on internet. Uh, this picture is the uh, payment information of Body Shop. I think this um, is very familiar to us. Here is the credit card number, and also the you need to enter the security card, security code. So have you ever worry about your uh, credit card, credit card, the, the safe of your credit card? Because they all know your information, they can use your credit card. Um, the second problem question is, have you ever worried about your email content? Like, if you run a company, you may send uh, your inform uh, important business information through the internet. Have you worry about uh, you send to the wrong address or you send to your, your information or hacked by some illegal access? Yeah, that's a big problem. I also worry sometimes uh, when I send a uh, very important email, I just worry about the email address or my privacy. Okay, now through these two rooms, I think we can have a real concept of the security and privacy of electronic business. Like the Ghost in his book states, a single publicized public security breach can not only affect uh, the business, the, the firm itself, but also the whole e electronic business industry. I think most of us may know the, this news. In this year, the April, Sony suffered, uh, suffered a very massive breach in his PlayStation. It means uh, all the users' account, accounts information were leaked the number is 77 million, so it's very huge. The user account information, including your username, your password, and also may include in your credit card numbers. So it's very terrible and dangerous incident. And it's one of the largest ever internet security break in. So we may think about since the problem is so uh, terrible, so how can we solve the problem? I think the first thing come to our mind is technology. Yeah, that's true. Just take the, just let let's just imagine the firewall is a real wall. If the firewall is higher, maybe it can stop some shifts. Then second thing is legislation. Um, today I'm not going to talk about the two technical things. So I think it doesn't make sense. So I'm just talking about two things we may know and may do help to us. First thing is the cookie. I think um, you know you may know that in our hard drives there is a file named cookie. It stores all our behaviors on internet, like which you in a website you served or when you surf it, and your login name, your password, and etc. And also, so uh, it's all my own opinion. I think if you clear the your know, cookies regular, it may help to uh, pretend to protect your security for some to some extent. And the second thing is unknown email. Recently, I re I really got some unknown email. It seems it's not advertisement. It's also not uh, some strange uh, religion. It just uh, seems. Uh, uh, emails not makes nonsense so be careful don't click on the any links in the email or even don't read it 
Okay, let's go to the second solution, is legislation. Uh, let's just take uh, the Sony as an example. Why the Sony is hacked? I think one of the, one of the main reasons is their security system is not very uh, efficient. If there, uh, so we may need the legislation to make sure every this kind of companies they should uh, upgrade their security standard. Then it's some to some extent the incident can be stopped. And second thing is, uh, Sony not uh, found their PlayStation was hacked, but and then they stopped the PlayStation. But so they, but they notified their customers seven days later. It means uh, customer even can do nothing to help the incident. As we know, the leaked information, including credit card numbers, if uh, if it's Sony just uh, notified its customers in the second day, maybe some customers may to do something to protect your credit card, so some incident may stop. Yeah, that's